everyone, it's Julia. I've been rummaging through some of my sewing supplies, just trying to find some inspiration this week. Um, sometimes when I'm just, just trying to decide what I want to start on and I just don't have anything in mind, I'll go to a, a, the fabric store, maybe I'll get some ideas, or maybe I'll just <laughs> just go through some of my own stash and see what I have. And this week, the thing that just struck me as I forgot I had had some of this, it's just um, serger thread. So I think when you get down on your cone of thread and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to waste it, but you don't want to start a project with it, I just um, take it off and then I just stick it in a bag. And I thought this is just. I love the colors and I thought it, I for some reason just thought of a under the sea kind of a design um, and I I went through my fabric and I found this and I just thought well this really looks kind of under under the sea type of a look but it's not very big um, and so then I found this piece of fabric you see where this is going you know you just find one and then you just get an idea and you just go with it but I found this and I thought, well, that would be fun to maybe put a piece of this on each side of this center piece. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do a pillow top with this and just do a under the sea kind of a, a pillow. Um, and other things that I found that might be interesting on that is some different, just different fibers. I found this, have this ball, kind of a little ball trim. Um, and I thought this would be fun for just maybe some sea, grass or seaweed um, another one is this piece I thought was really interesting and so I found a couple of those this is like a ribbon that I thought maybe would work too for some seaweed going up um, and then I have some just sparkly um, netting just cutting little pieces of it maybe and scattering it um, and some rib different ribbons. I found this really tiny tiny ribbon that I thought I would just snip little pieces of it and Then when I get my design completely done My whole idea is to cover it. I Actually have this piece that I thought would make a neat um, cover. It's like a I got it at the thrift store. I think it's a scarf. It ha it's, you know, the edge is finished. I think it's a scarf. And it has these little pearly little beads sewn all over it. But I thought I would cover the whole thing with this. Um, and then stitch it on, being, being careful not to hit those little beads. But, but stitch it on so everything is, is held into place. And maybe using like a multicolored thread to do my sewing on this and then just meander stitching that on and then go from there with the pillow maybe add add the backing and the and the stuffing but i'm going to go to my sewing machine first and i am going to um, stitch a, a strip of this onto each end side of this and then i'll be back i did join my pieces and they, it now measures about 15 inches by 9 inches tall and I did put a fusible fleece on the back side, just iron that on the back. All my supplies will be listed down below. And then it's just a process, process of, of adding my layers. I put the fiber on first, or those serger threads, and then some of my ribbons and fibers. This is gonna appear to look like some, some grass, just kind of just arranging it. This was a really thin fiber that I've had for a long time. It's almost a navy blue color. And I thought instead of doing the seagrass, I'm just gonna add it to the background. Um, the same with this one, it's like a, a light lavender color and very tiny. Just put that in there. It's all gonna just add interest in the, in, in the end. Here's a piece of ribbon. And then that small ball fiber or, or trim that I had. A tiny ribbon the real narrow ribbon and this is the netting and I just clipped little pieces of it and just scattered it all the way around it just kind of adds a sparkle to it Now 
Next, I thought this really needed some fish. So I took some heat and bond light and then just, and drew us just some simple fish um, shapes and added it to the back of some fabric. And then I found, I found a phrase I wanted to use and it's greet each day with a song in your heart. So I'm gonna add that, I cut, cut my, all my little shapes out. I am gonna be adding a bunch of little circles for bubbles. And you'll see that here. I'm just removing that paper from the back of these fish and then just adding these. I get a lot of questions about, I have this fabric with phrases on it, just words and just different phrases. I picked that up many years ago. I always look for phrases or words on fabric just there because it's fun to add to different projects. Just still arranging my fish. Some of them I tucked underneath the seaweed and some of them I put on top and now the little bubbles I just it was a sparkly lavender colored fabric that I just put heat and bond on the back and then it just randomly just these little bubbles and I took removed again rem removing all the paper remove the paper on the back of that that phrase and I'm going to just put my mat my silicone a press mat on the top of this to press down those items that have that heat and bond light on. Um, I don't want to put my iron right on this because of that. A lot of those threads and fibers are are polyester or, or acetate and I know that they're gonna not going to take heat very well. Laying that piece of scarf or what, whatever it was on the top and then just putting a lot of pins in this. This will be taken to my sewing machine next. And I'm using a sulky multicolored thread and I'll link, link that down below too. It's kind of has the blues and greens in it and just gonna work really well for this. The first thing I'm doing at my sewing machine is I'm gonna stitch all the way around this. And I do have that multicolored thread on for this. Um, I want it to trap all that fiber and all that, all that stuff in, the, in sections. Now I'm sewing right down the center of it and I apologize, I, uh, for some reason, I, it, some of this sewing did not get filmed, um, but after I get these into sections, I then switch to my free motion foot and then meander stitched um, around all in, in all these sections, just catching everything and then making everything secure, um, getting that netting down and then after that, I switched my thread to black thread and I outlined all my fish, all the bubbles, and then also that phrase. And you'll see a close up of that right now. Um, you can just see all, it's just fun. It just added a lot of detail and it's just, it's just interesting piece. I really like how it turned out. So my pillow top is pretty much done. I'm just gonna trim the rest of this netting away this scarf fabric and then that one bead I knew was going to get in the way so I just snipped that off I cut a, a backing it was just a quilted I throw that I had picked up at, at a, the flea market um, and I cut it the same size as my front and just adding some pins I will be stitching all the way around this and I'm just going to use like a scant half inch, about a three eighths of an inch, marked my opening and I'll go back and forth on just to secure that opening. Clipping my threads. Um, I don't show how I finish my pillow, but I will link a video down below. I do use my sewing machine to, to sew uh, the, the closure on my pillows after I stuff it. Just clipping some more threads and then just poking out those corners. And when I, I, I always want to roll my seams like you see me doing here and then and then pressing before I, before I do the stuffing. I'm not going to press from the front. I did flip, flipped it over. Again, I don't want to add that hot iron onto any of that netting or that fiber. Just still rolling and getting those seams nice and, and out. And then I will also roll under my opening. And you'll see me do that. And that'll be just closed when I do my stitching, my or my sewing at my sewing machine to finish my pillow. Really easy. I have some pictures at the end and some close-ups too of that, that 
fun under the world, under the sea background. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. It's basically taking just scraps and things in your sewing room and creating something. Bye for now. I hope you have a chance to create this week. See you in the next one.